Hey guys, this is the first Call of Duty commentary I have ever made! Rafflecopter, look at me using the MP40 with second chance and juggernaut. I'm so cool. I'm gonna get flamed so much. But, um, I'm not here to talk about my gameplay. I'm, I'm mainly here to talk about, you know, whenever I make a Call of Duty commentary now, I want to talk about, like, a, a very important subject. You know, just not be just like, hey, I'm using this class, and there's a guy right there, fuck. And, um... You know, it's like, hey, I'm using this class, and I'm doing such and such, this is how you do such and such. Nah, I, I, that, that's boring, I don't watch those. But, um... What I'm here, I, 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 after playing a whole bunch of other games, I've been rotating around games like Halo Wars, and Bad Company, and Call of Duty, and, um... Red Dead Redemption recent, recently, which is an awesome game. If you don't have it, you should get it now. But, um... And then I'm like, you know what, I haven't played this game in forever, I'm gonna go four around with classes, make a stupid class, and make a commentary. And, um, I was thinking, you know, since this is World War II, and it brought through the fact about, you know, you know, the war in the United States, and holy crap, there's a bunch of guys around here! Ah! Sorry, but, um... You know, just basically, you know, World War II and the Americans and the Japanese and the Germans and the yada yada yada. Which brought to me about, you know, present day wars. And what's going on with technology and our, our fraction. It's like, and this is basically considering, like, you know, the debate whether, like, America. I'm, I'm going to ask you guys a very serious question, you know. Do you think that the United States is the most, it, well, is the strongest has the strongest military force in the entire world. You know, do, do, do you believe that? Um, I personally do. I, I do believe that. Now, addressing other things such as, you know, um, um, just basic, like, thoughts of the soldiers, the way they fight, their training, you know, that's all different. What I, I, what, what I think is that we have the strongest force, you know, I, I'm American, I believe that. And, I'm, and I don't believe that just because I'm American, you know, I'm a, I'm a biased redneck American. That's because I've seen what kind of technology we have and the things of what's going on right lately. Now, about our leaders is a different story, but I'm not. This isn't a pol political discussion. Um, I, I can bring a couple examples. Um, we indeed we, we we have really good technology. Technology, we probably outclass everybody else most likely. You know. Uh, I'll bring up an example. During Operation Iraqi Freedom, the United States Air Force did not lose a single plane. Not one plane. We didn't, lose, we didn't have any air casualties. And the F-15 is probably one of the best fighter planes in the world, and it really, really gained its fame just from that. Now the F-22 is probably gonna, is probably outclassed it. But the F-15 is probably... You know, I, I think it would put a good match against it. But, you know, the F-22 is, is still pretty crazy. But we ha we also have a lot of overrated technology, you know. The... probably like the, um, uh, the Nighthawk, the F-117 Nighthawk, is probably one of the most overrated planes I've ever heard of in my entire life. You know, that, that thing... Because it didn't have any really much of a defense system on it. Uh, let's see here. M uh, we got the M16 assault rifle, M4 carbine, but the M16 is actually outclassed by a lot of other guns right now. But then you look at the Russians, you know, they, they've made at least like 5 billion models of the AK-47. You know, why why make a new model when you continue improving on, the, on, on a good one? But, um, you know, Nimit Nimitz class super aircraft carrier, which was the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier ever put together. It's 100,000 tons. And, uh, ah, fuck. And, um, we have 11 of them, from what, I, from what I've heard. We, well, not 11 Nimitz, we have 11 aircraft carriers. Compared to other countries that only have, like, two or three. I mean, hell, like, even India has one. I mean, like, like, like Japan during World War II had like, uh, I don't know how many, but around three or six. But, um, yeah, the, t the technology is there. We, we certainly have that. 
does that mean that, you know, the only way, but the only thing we're really going to find out, you know, if we could beat a war with anybody else, is really just having, you know, a war with every single country one by one. It's like, okay, you challenge this guy, and now we challenge this guy. That, you know, we, we can't really figure it out. It's mainly based off of speculation, you know. Uh, in its current state, considering the leadership, you know, we have the power. I just don't think the leadership is really there. You know, I'm not going to say my thoughts on the president, but, um, you know, he's certainly not the best one we've had. He's shooting around people. I forgot what I should be saying. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> another thing, you know, during the revol we're doing the Revolutionary War, you know, obviously the Americans, well, the, the country wasn't even really made until 1776. But, um, you know, American colonists versus the British, and we, 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 we womp them, pretty much. That's, that's what we knew were, is womp. But we womp them, you know. They, we, we hid in trees, we had snipers, you know, they go out in the open and get themselves shot. And they even, they, they tried to kill us, they tried to attack us in 1812 again. But, you know, you can see a very big difference now, you know. The British have the Special Air Service, which is probably one of the best um, special forces in the world right now. You know, I, I think they rival the um, uh, Delta Force in the Spetsnaz. But, um, yeah, I did pretty good out there, 32 and 3. But, just, like I said... You know, I don't really need to repeat everything. I'm just going to keep repeating. But, you know, just leave what you think about it in the comments below and such and such, you know. So, yeah.